Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we will be continuing with the core components of Hadoop. In the previous video, we have already seen the first and the second component of Hadoop, which was Hadoop Distributed File System, HDFS and MapReduce. We already have seen these two components. If you guys have not seen this, then surely check out those videos. Now in this video, we will be looking into the third and the fourth component of Hadoop. So first let's have a look at this third component which is yet another resource negotiator which is also known as YAN. So let's have a look what exactly it is. So first it manages the resources. So all the resources that are required for a data to store as well as to get processed, those resources are provided by YAN. It also performs job scheduling. So basically, which job will be executed by which system is decided by this YAN component. Next, it supports the variety of processing engines, which means that apart from batch processing, which we have seen in the earlier videos, this YAN component supports stream processing, interactive processing and graph processing also which can be easily stored in HDFS. Next, it has a dynamic strategy of resource allocation, which means that it makes the best efficient use of the resources that are available. And therefore, it becomes very much convenient to use this component YAN inside the Hadoop architecture. Next, let's have a look at the YAN architecture. So, the YAN architecture includes the client side which means that multiple clients can approach the resource manager which is the main component inside the YAN architecture and this resource manager will try to allocate the resources to the node managers which is again an important component inside the YAN architecture. Take a note that this node manager also contains the container as well as the application master. So let's have a look at all of this one by one. So let's first see the client side. Now what client will do? It will submit the MapReduce task to the Hadoop system. Now as soon as these tasks are submitted by the client, the resource manager will come into picture. Now the name itself tells that the resource manager will be the master point that will allocate the resources and as well as the jobs to the node manager. So basically all the functionalities of scheduling and Keeping a track of all the jobs that are allocated will be monitored by resource manager. Now this resource manager consists of scheduler. Now this scheduler will perform scheduling based on the available resources. Now note that the scheduler will only look for the scheduling jobs. Other than this it won't do anything because if a particular job fails then it's not the duty of the scheduler to fix it. Next component inside the resource manager is the application manager. Now this application manager is responsible for accepting the tasks that are submitted by the client and also it will allocate a container inside the node manager for it. Now let's come to the node manager part. So basically the node manager is responsible for the monitoring as well as managing of all the nodes inside it. Now these nodes are nothing but the container in which the resources are actually working and processing the data. It will keep a track of the health of the node based on its performance, whether it is actually executing the task or it is failing the task. The node manager will update the information about each and every node to the resource manager. Now this node manager consists of the application master. This Application master is responsible for negotiating the resources with the resource manager. It will also keep a track of the status as well as the progress of each and every application which are running inside the container. The next component inside the node manager is the container. So let's have a look at this container component. So the container is basically all the resources for example RAM or it can be CPUs etc which are running on a single node. Make a note that these containers will always run under the node manager. So that's all about the architecture of YAN. I hope it is clear. So it contains the client side, 
the resource manager and it contains the, the node manager if you guys have any doubt regarding the architecture of yarn and its coordination between each components then you can put it in the comment section i'll be happy to solve it now that we have seen the architecture of yarn now it's time to look at the features that it has and the different advantages of using it so the first feature of yarn is the high degree compatibility which means that it is highly compatible because it supports the applications that are created by a map reduce easily and seamlessly now as i said that yarn was introduced in the second generation of hadoop in the first generation there was no yarn but the applications that were made using the map reduce in the first generation were easily supported by yarn from the second generation hence it is known for its compatibility next feature of yarn is the better cluster utilization because it supports efficient as well as dynamic utilization of cluster resources in hadoop so these are few important features of yarn i hope you have got it now we are completed with the third component of hadoop which is yarn now it's time to move on to the fourth component of hadoop which is hadoop common utilities so let's begin with it so this hadoop common utilities are nothing but the java files which supports all the other components which are present inside the hadoop clusters basically it is written in java language it can be a file or it can be termed as group of libraries that supports all the components inside the hadoop cluster also it allows the computers to become a part of hadoop network irrespective of the hardware or the operating system that particular computer has so therefore it becomes very convenient for any computer to get into the hadoop network with this hadoop common utilities now this brings us to the end of the core component of hadoop which is hadoop common utilities we have seen all these four components starting from hdfs map reduce yarn and lastly hadoop common utilities note that whenever you are asked to explain the architecture of hadoop you need to explain all these four components in detail with its architecture as well as the diagram that we have discussed in the hadoop architecture video For more such videos do like share and subscribe to my channel also hit the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on Instagram thanks a lot for watching